Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and as I'm sure you know, October is the month of the Most Holy Rosary. It's also Respect Life Month, and yesterday was the feast day of a great respecter of life who was canonized in 2013, St. Louis Guanella. He lived in northern Italy most of his life, died in 1915, and founded two congregations, the Servants of Charity for Men and the Daughters of St. Mary of Providence for Women. His concern for human life gave him a deep compassion for the poor and suffering, and especially for the developmentally disabled who were often hidden and rejected. One day, when he was playing cards with a resident at one of his congregation's homes for the disabled, a bishop appeared asking to see him. When the bishop was told he would have to wait to see Father Guanella, he responded, Can't he suspend the game for a little while since that man understands so little? The bishop was told, Exactly. The good child would never understand if Father Guanella treated another person as more important. They are the masters of this house. St. Louis Guanella followed the teaching of Jesus that the first would be last. He was also a member of the Apostleship of Prayer, about which he said, It is like the center of the devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus Christ. The prayer of the agonizing Jesus pierces the heart of God. The prayer of the Apostleship, thus passing through the sacred heart, penetrates heaven and earth. Thus, the prayer of the good people sustains the world today that it may not crash under the weight of iniquity. Let's faithfully pray and live the daily offering that the Apostleship of Prayer has promoted for over a century.